Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to invite you to join us for a musical journey on the Mississippi, the greatest of all North American rivers. Beginning in New Orleans, our journey takes us up the river to Baton Rouge, Natchez, and St. Francisville. Thank you for being with us. We begin our journey on the Mississippi in New Orleans with a visit to the St. Louis Cathedral, the oldest cathedral in the United States. The St. Louis Cathedral is actually the third church that has occupied this site. The first house of worship was destroyed by a hurricane in 1722, only four years after the founding of New Orleans. 75 years later, the second church was destroyed by fire. Designed by architect J. Du Puyi, the present church was completed in 1851.
Williams is best known for its jazz music, but rhythm and blues finds its spiritual home here as well. And underneath it all are the spirituals and gospel songs, which give heart and inspiration to every other musical expression. We even played a little gospel ourselves on the great organ of the St. Louis Cathedral. There was a time when the rivers of America swarmed with elegant wedding cake style steamboats that called at river ports both large and small. We take our Mississippi journey today on the American Queen, a grand and elegant steamboat. She carries 436 passengers and is the largest paddle wheel ever built at 418 feet long. Those aboard enjoy the opulence of America's romantic Victorian era, plus all the conveniences of today. You may be wondering, what is that funny necklace you have around your neck? Well, this is a necklace that gets me on board this boat. So come along.
the river from New Orleans, we travel into the history of the Old South. A wonderful example of the history is this beautiful homeless house, which was named after the Indians who lived in this area. Begun in the early 19th century, it was completed in 1840. The imposing mansion with its two-story columns and galleries was the centerpiece of a sugar plantation comprising over 20,000 acres, the largest in North America at the time. We leave the Homus House to once again board the American Queen for our musical journey on the Mississippi, on our way to St. Francisville and Natchez. Once upon a time in America, thousands of settlers went west by river because it was safer and faster. It's a story filled with heroes and villains, bravery and treachery. They're all a part of the colorful history that characterizes the decades following the debut of the steamboat, a time when tiny settlements grew into thriving river ports. And the Mississippi River system became the main trade route from Pittsburgh to St. Louis and Minneapolis to New Orleans. There are many places on the American Queen just to sit and enjoy the relaxed atmosphere. There's the front porch where you can have an ice cream cone and a cookie and enjoy a cup of coffee. Or there's the Mark Twain Gallery where you can read or visit with a friend. Many people like to go to the front deck of the ship to watch the beautiful scenery as we pass by. Our musical journey on the Mississippi arrives in Natchez. The allure of beautiful Natchez begins with the city's history. 
Established by the French in 1716, the town was named for the Native Americans who dwelt in this bend of the Mississippi River. From its beginning, Natchez has been an important steamboat port. It was our pleasure to perform music in the Trinity Episcopal Church of Natchez. This beautiful church was founded in 1822 and is the oldest Episcopal Church in the state of Mississippi. Of special note here is the stained glass window depicting the Ascension by noted artist John Lafarge, who was also responsible for the decoration of the Trinity Church in Boston. Of special note also are two windows by Tiffany, considered by experts to be two of his finest works for churches. Because Natchez was one of the few southern cities spared during the war between the states, it has become synonymous with the term antebellum mansion. And anyone who visits the city soon realizes why. With the largest array of pre-Civil War houses and buildings concentrated anywhere in the United States, Natchez has something to charm any architectural eye and satisfy an appetite for beauty and legend. We returned to the American Queen to travel on to Baton Rouge. It was interesting to watch the smokestacks being lowered as we passed under the bridge at Natchez.
arrive in Baton Rouge, where we were given a most festive welcome. happy to welcome to the joy of music on our riverboat journey the ink spots a household name for many many years they joined us at the saint joseph's cathedral to perform a favorite spiritual so appropriate for our musical journey on the mississippi oh, when the saints Joseph Cathedral of Baton Rouge has provided spiritual leadership and inspiration to visitors and citizens of Baton Rouge over the years. The present building dates back to 1853. Housed inside St. Joseph's is a great organ of 50 ranks and three manuals built by the Reuter Organ Company in 1993.
you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a program entitled A Musical Journey on the Mississippi River Aboard the American Queen. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.